Shaking everybody. Uh, just a quick video uh, on the discus that we got from Kenny's discus uh, approximately three months ago. Uh, you're looking at the neon sapphire there, I believe who was a male. Uh, he's a year old. And then the two golden diamonds over there, the one he just chased, I think is the one um, that uh, he wants to mate with, but she's just not ready yet. And so we're just uh, doing the waiting game. Uh, but this is a 75 gallon tank that uh, we put together for these guys. Uh, they're doing well in here, it's awesome. I mean, these guys are just uh, really, really super healthy. And this guy here is Mr. Friendly. Um, he is very friendly with humans. He doesn't have any fear of humans. And um, just a really cool fish to have. There's, uh, of course I've named him, that's Blue, that's Goldie. Um, and these are the ones that I think that will eventually pair, but uh, they've shown behaviors and all that kind of stuff. Right now he's doing all this chasing, um, but he's pretty mellow right now. Um, but these two guys uh, are just beautiful fish. And like I was saying, as far as the um, him being friendly, here, let me give you a, a, a quick example here. Um, it's always nice when you have fish that will interact with you. You know, these guys aren't goldfish. These guys aren't neons, you know, these guys. So I'm going to come up here, and uh, he loves when I pet him. You know, he doesn't go anywhere, you know. When I'm cleaning the tank, he just hangs out wherever I'm at. I mean, look at that. He just, he just absolutely loves it. It's just incredible. He's such just a cool fish. Just an awesome fish. Yep. And then we got uh, Zest. We named her Zest. Um, she's probably approximately about, I would give her probably about nine, ten months old, I would say, what Kenny said. Um, he's definitely, you know, he's a year old now. And then uh, Goldie is, is, is close behind. She's probably 11, probably going on a year uh, pretty soon here. So. And then, um, right over here, this is our quarantine tank. And then I got my three little guys over here. I had to treat these guys, uh, Storm, this guy a little right here. Yeah, he had internal parasites. He was uh, pooping white. Um, so we got fish zoll. And uh, this is the last day of the treatment. Uh, this, we did a five day treatment on these guys. Um, and he's come way back. I mean, he's, he's, he's actually eating. He's not crazy, crazy eating like the other guys, like my tur Turk here, the Tiger Turquoise, and then the other red golden back there, Stripes. Um, but he came back. He, uh, when he was in the show tank, he was not eating. I could tell he was losing weight, just not doing anything. And then, um, but let me show you guys, uh, when you're using the fish sole, um, the one crucial thing that it doesn't even say on the instructions, but Kenny uh, puts it in his instructions, is you got to have your tank water very warm. He says 92. Um, this goes, it, this fluctuates between 91 and 92. But he says that's very important uh, when you are medicating your fish with fish sole is to have that water nice and warm. And yeah, I was pretty puzzled about that. I was like, wow, these fish like 90 degree water. And and uh, so that was something that I learned. But yeah, I mean, it, it boosts their metabolism is basically what's happening um, to, to, to uh, trick them into eating and, and, and uh, just giving them more energy. But yeah, he uh, he's doing really good now. Um, most of his personally come back. He's named Storm because he's a little terror at times. Um, he doesn't care how big you are. He, yeah, I mean, he goes after everybody. Um, but yeah, so uh, he's looking real good. So I went ahead and did everybody. I even did this tank as well. Um, but it's treatment's over, and uh, everybody looks good. Every once in a while, you see that uh, that scratching behavior, and um, believe it or not, don't. Um, don't uh, uh, dismiss that or ignore that. Um, there are times that that's a sign of, uh, of uh, some, uh, some parasite or something, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm still learning, but, but it gets, uh, gets in their gills or on their uh, skin. 
and they burrow in the skin and stuff and it makes a itch I would imagine and they scratch and then sometimes they can hurt themselves yeah some people don't like having this driftwood in there because they say when they spook or they go to scratch they can hurt themselves and that kind of thing well yeah I agree um, and yeah there are some parts of my driftwood that I've I've cut off because of that but uh, I just look at it you know you have good healthy fish um, they don't have that spook behavior all the time why not you know um, do what you want with your tank you know um, just as long as your fish are nice and healthy and and uh, you know uh, thriving yeah do what you want with your tank you know a lot of people want to do discus and bare bottom like that over there but that's my quarantine tank but you know I, Yes, discus are beautiful, but but uh, when the tank is doesn't have nothing in it, I'm just like, you know, that's not their natural habitat. I'm, you know, I know this isn't their natural, but I'm getting as close as I can. And uh, so yeah, that's these guys. Let me give you guys a couple close ups. I forgot. I even had to show you all the little cardinals that are going on. There's actually even a couple of uh, uh, galaxy rasboras in here. Um, I think one's getting ready to to uh, pass away though. He's up here, he's not doing really good. I'm just watching him for the day he started doing that. So if he keeps that, I'll just go ahead and call him. These guys, they, they're about three years old. So they're, they're close to the end of their lifespan. I have one neon in here. Where is he? There he is right there. That neon is almost four years old. Um, I had a big group of them, and he's the one that's lasted the longest, but yeah, I can't believe how old he's lasted. There he is right there. It's a male. Old guy. Yeah, we see Blue here. I mean, he won't leave me alone. You know, he won't leave me alone. Little Corey. He's, uh, he's going on four years old. Uh, he had a buddy, but he passed a couple weeks ago, unfortunately. Yeah, he has old age. So there you guys go. If you have any comments, questions, uh, please leave them in the, in the comment section. Uh, I would appreciate any, uh, any comments, any info, any uh, ideas, any suggestions. But there we go. And let me remind you, Kenny's Discus. Uh, I got these from uh, Kenny's Discus out of California. And uh, just absolute stunning fish. All right. Everybody have a good day.